Scorpio, welcome to your weekly love reading and happy 2021 guys. I hope you all had a lovely holiday. Um, I'm going to pull some oracle cards at the end of this reading, but before I start, I just want to read a channeled message that I got for you guys. It's not necessarily pertaining to love, but it's a, a channeling that I did for my Instagram. So I just want to share the message with you guys. And I got that you guys are preparing at the moment. You're preparing for your new selves, your new life, your new roles. Um, this preparation is still going on at the moment. You're getting ready to step into a whole new life and experience that you've never had before. Um, and I'm also feeling that you, new cars for you guys. I feel like you guys may be getting new cars. <laughs> Random, but yeah. If you've had a problem with your car, I feel like you're going to get a new one. Um, but that's what I've got for you guys in regards to just a little channeled message there. So let's get started on your love reading. Um, if you're interested in your monthly readings, your monthly zodiac readings, the link is in the description box below. And I've also listed, I also announced, sorry, the winners of the personal readings in those readings as well. Um, but yeah, this reading is a general reading, so only take what messages resonate and it is timeless. So just take it for the week when you find this reading, the week ahead when you find this reading. Okay, Scorpio, let's see what is going on with you guys this week in regards to your love life. Scorpio. Present energy, recent past, root, what is guiding you? Near future energy, this is you and this is, sorry that isn't your person, this is your person. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have got the Seven of Pentacles. The waiting game. Again, maybe because you're still in preparation for something. Maybe that you're in preparation for a new person. Let's see here, guys. Present energy, we have... Three of Wands, something is coming in. You're waiting because something is coming in. Something's being brought in by spirit. Your ships are coming in. You may have seen, started to see developments with things and starting to get a bit of excitement. You've seen something coming in here. Or you're waiting for something to come in. It is coming in. There is sunshine coming through clouds. So where there's been holdups, you're seeing light coming through. You're getting some encouragement here. Um, recent past energy, we've had the Queen of Pentacles. Could be dealing with an earth sign, or it could be that you have been very nurturing and very giving in the past. You may have been very nurturing to people, could be to animals, could be two partners, there's something here that you've been really giving and nurturing to, I feel. And you're waiting to see what comes of it. You're waiting to see what is returned. Like, not even consciously. I feel like spiritually, you're gonna receive a gift from this. From what you gave, you're gonna receive a gift. There is something coming in, there's some options. There could be two options that come in for you, two offers that come in, two gifts that come in. Um, Let's see, with this root, there is an ace of rods here. There is some there is some passion, some inspiration. There is a new a new way of being here that you kind of um ventured into, some new sort of inspiration that was coming through, a new some new idea. And I feel like you've been very giving, very nurturing to others, and it could be that this Three of Rods is going to be something that comes in that's going to support this new idea or this new passion here. What is guiding you as a King of Pentacles? This is a match. 
I feel like you guys might meet somebody through a work situation here because I feel like this Ace of Rods, it's like some passion that you're going to have, some sort of create, it's like some creative passion. And this Three of Rods, I feel this is an opportunity. This is more of like a karmic repayment, I'm feeling that this is like a gift that's coming to you because you've been very nurturing. But with this, I feel. You're going to step into your power in the physical, but you're then also going to meet your match as well. I feel like there's this king that is calling you to him, but there's, you're going through this sort of process step by step to get to him. And your career is involved as well, or you, some sort of creativity is involved in this, something that you create. Near future energy, we've got a queen of cups. There's some sort of there's some emotions coming in. You're very feminine. You're in very feminine energy. Very nurturing. Very loving. Um, it could be. This Queen of Cups could actually be somebody. This could be one of your ships that come in. This could be actually a person. Uh, another feminine energy. Regardless of gender. That offers you something. You may get offered something here. Something that you're going to really enjoy and love. But I don't necessarily feel that it's exactly a person um, that you're going to be offered to love this is going to be uh, an opportunity for you and through this opportunity you're going to meet a, your person i feel more so that but you're going to get offered an opportunity a gift to explore your creativity your energy right now you're the king of rods you're powerful and creative Your person is the Ten of Swords. Whether this is somebody that you've been dealing with or whether this is a new person that is coming in, there's some sort of ending of a cycle there. But let's see here. I feel you're going to meet your match through a situation, through a creative endeavour. You've got a female, I feel like you're in your feminine energy. You've got another feminine, somebody who embodies feminine energy coming in to support you and gift you something. Okay. Three of rods. What is coming in? Yeah, something is coming in quickly. There is some communication coming in quickly. There could be some travel coming in as well. So there's some movement, major movement coming in. And there's going to be some major abundance with this, but it's going to be a bit slower. But there is something coming in here. There is something new coming in. You feel like you've been stuck and you're stagnant, but you've been gaining wisdom. You've been doing a lot of work and gaining wisdom. This Ace of Rods, this King of Cups wanted to poke his head out there. But this Ace of Rods is the root of this. There's going to be some communication. There's going to be some sort of message. You're going to see something or somebody is watching you. There's something. It's going to be really happy. There's going to be so much joy with this. And there is going to be, there is going to be some sort of beautiful partnership going on as well. You're going to have a beautiful partnership. But I feel like that's with that Queen of Cups. I feel like you've been this Queen of Pentacles and you've been very giving and you've been taking care of others and very giving and generous. And I feel like this Queen of Cups is a, another feminine energy to give something to you, to help teach you how to receive something as well. And this is a preparation for you being able to receive this King of Pentacles that will come in. There is some anxiety and distrust, I feel, about this Queen of Cups. There is some anxiety and distrust against maybe some sort of issue in regards to you being able to receive something. This Queen of Cups may be very different to you. She may be very different. You may not resonate necessarily with her energy. This Queen of Cups could be somebody returning from the past to offer you something. You may have met this Queen of Cups before. She may be returning to offer you something. She 
She wants to unite with you. She wants to unite with you. Not even necessarily, like this. not necessarily a romantic sense, but it is for those in a same sex dynamic, I feel it is, it could even be in a, you know, forget about gender, okay? Forget about gender. Whoever it is coming with this cup wants to unite with you. It could be even a twin flame coming back in, but this twin flame is in a feminine energy, but a slightly different feminine energy to yours and it could uh, activate you. It, there could be some sort of activation and some sort of gift here to help you develop. But this King of Pentacles is different. This is a different person. So if it is a twin flame that is coming in, I'm not necessarily feeling that um, I'm not really necessarily feeling like I feel like they're going to come in and activate something in you. They're going to give you a gift. They're going to come and activate something in you. For others, this is going to be somebody, a friend that comes in that you may not have liked in the past, but they come in and give you a gift and it's going to be something to do with your career. But regardless of what it is, you're being given a gift, but you're going to go and meet a king of pentacles who isn't this person. It isn't this, this queen of cups. It's a different person. It's a whole different energy. It's a whole different person I'm getting. Um, but this Queen of Cups wants to come in. She wants to work with you. She wants to connect with you. She wants to give you something. She wants to give you a gift. Feel like you, either you don't know how to accept a gift from somebody else and you feel nervous or anxious about it or maybe you just don't trust the energy. You don't recognize her energy or you've experienced the energy with her before and you don't trust it and you don't like it. Um, because I feel for some of you, yeah, this is somebody from the past. But take the gift. It's a good gift. She's going to help you transform something. She's going to help you end something and have a rebirth and transform something. That's going to help you gain wisdom. It's going to help you learn something about yourself. You're going to gain the truth here. But also I'm feeling you're going to have, look there's going to be a change of look for you there's going to be some sort of creative opportunity for you whether this is work and when we talk about creation as well i've been getting a lot of baby vibes for you guys but there's going to be some sort of opportunity here to express and explore your creative side um, and you're feeling very creative but i feel you with that queen of pentacles you've been very generous and very much giving but with that king of rods in regards to the energy that you embody you're very much a leader and in control. Um, you've been more dominant. Sorry, guys. Um, you have been more dominant and you've been more in control and took the lead on things. So you may have felt like you need to be the giver and you don't quite know how to receive. You're reuniting with someone. You are reuniting with somebody and you're going to go on a journey, but you may be resistant. You may be resistant to it or you may try to block this person. This person, this Ten of Swords, is a little, yeah, they've been a bit manipulative, I feel. They've been, um, they may have been manipulative in the past, but I feel like they are wounded. They've tasted their own medicine a little bit, I feel, whoever this Ten of Swords is. But they want to grow as well. They want to grow and they want independence. They want independence and they don't want conflict anymore. And I feel like they admire you and they're really attracted to you. They are single. This person's single now. This person may have had a breakup. But again, if, if this person is this Queen of Cups, this person isn't ready to connect with you in a romantic way. This person needs to do some healing, but this person may come and activate you in something or give you an offer, offer you something that is going to help you. It's going to be a gift to you, whether it be a physical gift, whether it be a spiritual gift, whether it be an emotional gift, whether it be a mental gift, whether it's a work gift, whether it's a love gift, whether it's something to ignite your passion or to help you develop your creative passions, whatever it is, it's going to be different for everyone. They're coming to give you a gift. 
This King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles is going to be very balanced. Well, he is balanced. He's very balanced and he's going to bring in clarity and um, you're going to have an opportunity. There's like... Uh, He's honest. He's very honest and he's very nurturing. He's going to offer he's going to offer a cup as well. He's going to offer a cup to you. You may need to make a decision. Yeah. Two of rods. You're going to have to make a decision. Here. Yeah. You're going to have to let go of something. Yeah, you're going to have to let go of something. You are going to have to let go of something here. Yeah. You're going to have to let go of a person. Either this person who is coming as um, you're going to have to let go of something. You're going to have to let go of an old person for a new person in the future. To have an experience, a new experience with love. But the person that you've been dealing with, because this King of Pentacles isn't in your energy yet. I don't feel like this King of Pentacles has physically entered your world yet. You haven't physically... Uh, I don't feel like you're physically um, connected with this person. You may know each other. You, this may be somebody that you know, but I feel like you have not engaged with each other in a romantic sense yet. But when you do, this, this, his energy is guiding you to, to lead you to him to have an experience. You're going to get offered an experience with him. You're going to get activated in the near future by somebody. You're going to get offered a gift. This is either going to be... If this is a twin flame that comes in, you're going to get activated. You're going to have some sort of emotional, spiritual, mental sort of activation going on, which is going to help you develop, move forwards. Um, if this is like a friend that comes in, like a soulmate sort of person, even if you don't really like this person, they're coming in to offer you a gift to help you explore something creative. And through this, this will be where you meet that king of pentacles. In the physical this is a different person so what we've got here so you kind of on a standstill at the moment in regards to your love life you're reflecting upon things you're meditating you're manifesting you're dreaming you're praying mentally you're focusing on your, yourself and your own happiness and what you want you could be praying about things that you want in your life at the moment emotionally you are trying to be very logical about all your options and choices. Um, and physically, you're not trusting your intuition. Or there's something that is hidden that hasn't been revealed yet because you're trying... I feel like you're trying to keep control over yourself. Please don't mind the door. You're going on a new journey, though. You're going on a new little venture here. You need to trust the universe. Trust the universe here. Something is coming in. Very creative. You're going to be creating. Look, you've got a match there. Queen of Rods and King of Rods. So this person who is coming in is a soulmate of yours, or it is a twin flame. It is somebody who is going to be helping you. It's a soul contract that you've got. You're a match for each other, whether you are twins or whether this is like... Um, a person of any gender who comes in to help you, who helps give you an offer. There's an offer coming in. Trust it. Go with it. It's going to help you majorly level up hugely. Um, let's have a look at what the Romance Angels have got for you this week. Forgiving and learning, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yeah, I feel like somebody, I feel like you know this person who's coming in, who's coming in to offer you a gift, who's offering you a cup. You know them. We have here true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. We have give your relationship a chance. And we have worth waiting for. We have here, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. And we have here, divine timing is at work in your love life. 
okay let's see who's guiding you this week here lady nada heart awakening awaken to acceptance and divine love give and receive in balance somebody else has just had that i can't remember what sign um but that's what i've got for you guys this week let me know if that resonates um if you like that reading please feel free to give me a thumbs up subscribe hit the notification bell and if you want to check out your monthly reading it the, the the link is in the description box below and have a great week guys take care